We begin with an unfolding Queensland crisis. As we go to air tonight, our state government stands accused of lethal mismanagement that's likely killed thousands of workers. And more are being poisoned every day. They got my boys. Tell them my boys I get the kids in. Sorry. Good. They didn't think I was going to pull through. You can't see what's killing this Ipswich granddad, but you'd have to be made of stone not to feel it. Yeah. And I'm fighting it, trying to do my best to keep going. Like his father and his brothers, Percy Verrill spent a lifetime in the mines. A joint government industry screening system routinely checked his lungs, but found nothing. In fact, it couldn't find lung disease in anyone, and the government boasted the disease was dead. Except now we know they hadn't killed the disease. They'd botched the tests. If you don't take a temperature, you won't find a fever. If you don't look for somebody who's sick, then you don't have to do the work of taking care of them. This inquiry is to work out whether what's happened is a stuff-up or a cover-up. Already it's found only two people in Queensland were checking the x-rays. The US has 200. Most were unreadable, kept in a broom cupboard at the mines department or ship's containers near Ipswich. The world expert in black lung called the system ceremonial. In one particular mining town, the local barista was also um, part-time taking chest x-rays as well. Steve's among 20 confirmed cases. At 39, he's the youngest. We're paying for it with our lives. To me, it's horrible. Like, 